just something about me. My name is Mario. Who does not know? Me? Uh, who doesn't know me? Uh, I'm from Vienna, Austria. And this class is a take on black locks, and a little bit at the end, I will show you two principles at least that I really like to how to defend leg locks. Okay. Uh, usually, the people that know me know that I like to play guard, or I'm not like someone who's just hunting leg locks. Okay, but I have lots of people in my gym at home in France that are really into this game. Okay, so of course we need to know then how to defend it. Um, the techniques that I will show you today is something I'm working on. I'm doing a lot lately, and it's a little bit of a different take on um, how to get there for the leg locks. Okay, uh, let's start, music. Okay, we start in a position that I really like to use, in Gi and Nogi, it's the Della Riva, okay? So I'm here, I have my hook, I have control on the leg, okay? I use my other leg to control the distance, okay? To pull her closer. And now here's the thing, a um, lot of the attacks that I normally use includes a collar or something, something where I can really control her to make her off balance and everything. So I find it a lot harder sometimes to attack from the Della Riva from in Nogi. Okay, so that's why I kind of uh, drilled that a little bit. And it gets harder for me as she tries to just be like more passive and doesn't let me do anything. So it's hard for me to catch any submissions from here. It's not so easy to um, make her off balance. If I can get the hook, it's easier with Lizzy, she has <laughs> shorter legs, so easier for me to hook with my long legs, okay? But um, it's sometimes just hard and frustrating to take a, attack a sweep or to attack any submission, okay? Let's do a, a simple and fast submission from here first. So I'm here, I have control. You can do some grip fight here, control the arm, okay? That's not necessarily, but I, I, st I stay here, I have the control, and now I get an underhook with my arm, okay? One. And now I already create some pressure here, okay? So I, my leg's not sloppy, so if she can easily put the leg down, then I do something wrong. Okay, so I try to put pressure here by pulling the, the heel and putting my knee to the inside. Now I underhook, stop, tight. I still feel the pressure, okay? But I don't stop here, okay? I use my other hand too, and now I connect both of my hands, putting even more pressure. Then at the right point, I let go, okay? So I let go of it, and now I turn all the way, and I put my leg right behind her calf, like this, okay? I pull the calf down, okay, as I sit up, and I try to control her leg here, like this. Watch out, oh, sorry, can you Watch out that you don't extend the leg too much here. Some people either try to attack it, or I don't know. So you can really put the leg behind you, control the hips, okay, and just lean forward with your hips. Okay, and you do a calf slide. Okay. Uh, you see that Lisa's legs are pretty short. So I really have to get tight to her, okay, and see that the leg's in my hip, okay, so I really control the leg and I get tight to her. If someone has longer legs, it becomes even easier for me. Why? Because this foot is then on my shoulder, okay, so I'm really close to her now, uh, close to my opponent then, okay, so one more time. It looks pretty acrobatic, but I'm sure everyone will be able to do it. So I'm here, okay, I control, okay, I work maybe a little bit, then I get the underhook, I connect, and already as I connect, I feel the tension, I let go, and I shoot my leg in. I pull the leg down, okay? I connect to a triangle, and I catch the hips as soon as possible, okay? Um, watch out that you, especially as, uh, now as you try it, that you don't turn to the guy, okay, uh, in, in her situation. Because it's tight on the knee, and you might eventually hurt yourself. So it's just the easiest to look away and let the guy practice, get closer, create the hips forward, and finish. Okay, I will show you later a different entry and what happens if we fight people. It happened to me already that are not finish able on a calf slice because they're super flexible somehow. Okay, and I'll show you how we can progress from here. Okay, just one more time. So I'm here, underhook, I connect both hands, I open. I put that knee in, okay, push her down, I connect and I catch the hips as fast as possible. You can keep the hook here and connect both of your hands, but you can even just let go and sit tight and project the hips a little bit forward. Okay. Like. 
Okay, any questions? Three, two, one. Okay, uh, everything is a little bit built up on this, so I want to focus one more time on the entry, okay? Because uh, most of you have the same struggles. Okay, which leg should I put now? Where should my knee be? And it somehow doesn't look like I did, right? Okay. So look, I'm here, okay? Just keep it very simple. I have my De La Hiva hook, okay? For everyone who didn't, who has never done this hook, ever before because it's an all levels class so we should all be able to do it right it's totally fine I'll just let go of it forget that okay if that's like too complicated for you to feel like oh, it feels weird I don't know where to place my legs just forget the legs okay our focus is the entry you can still do it from here okay so I'm here I get the underhook I connect both of my hands and now look my leg has to come off so it looks in the beginning for her what he's doing it's, I'm doing a, a, some crazy things and she might even feel, oh, he, he's giving me the pass, okay? Or she will just try to push my legs down or something, okay? We will go over that later, but for now, I underhook, tight, okay? Not just a little bit. I go really deep. If you let go the leg, that's fine. Deep, okay, pu push your leg a little bit against so you create some tension. Use both arms, okay? Now I put this leg up. And this leg, okay, does not shoot all the way in. It just comes up to here, okay, in the calf. And now I push the calf forward, and my knee stays on the outside. You see that? Okay, so I'm not like this, or with my knee behind. I use this to push her forward. It's hard to do it from here, okay? Why? Because I don't want to hurt her knee by just smashing my leg into it. That's why I create some tension in the beginning, so I can easily move around. Okay, looks like this one here. Stop. Okay, at some point, can you come up? Okay, you see that I'm almost behind her. I shoot my leg in so he, she turns down. Okay, and as she turns down, I just get on top. Okay, try to use the other leg to lock your leg so it gets a little bit tighter here. Okay, and then connect to her hips. Okay, if you want, you can keep this grip in. It's just a little bit tighter. Okay. And for the finish, it's very simple. Uh, you place your leg. Let's say you have super thin legs, eventually you put a little bit more of your leg in, okay, to make her tap. What I do is I keep my leg here, and then I put her heel to her butt and until she feels like a lot of pressure in the knee. That's kind of trying to explode the knee. It's like when you do this with your leg, open up a little bit the knee. Um, and then she has to tap. So I go closer, you can use both hands, okay. usually in a fight I would just try to grab, okay. but if it's my training partner and I want to keep him for like longer than just one session, okay. eventually I just post one hand and just go with one hand so I have more control, and then I go with my hips closer until she taps. Okay, one more time. In here, one, two, three, connect. She falls, connect to the hip as fast as possible, hips forward, pinch. Okay? Uh, just try it out one more time and then we go over other stuff later. And don't worry for now that she can turn easily to any side out. Okay? Even though you're not so tight. Okay. okay uh, just continue with something that some people have a little bit of a problem. Okay? And that can totally happen in this position that the guy just easily turns out. So the calf slice is just a nice attack. If it works, the guy taps, that's nice, okay? But it also gives me an opportunity for an opening. Okay? And there are a couple of situations that can happen, and you basically have, can cut it down to, let's say, three options, okay? You can either stay on the bottom as the guy defends, and the tag the legs from there, it will work from there. You can use it as he maybe tries to spin or sit on the floor to get up, to get the top position. Or uh, the, the last option you actually have is to stay in the position and to keep connecting. Okay, so I should show you a couple of things. First of all, for the advanced guys, okay, uh, there is a way to stop him. I didn't really show, but uh, I show first what, what will happen. Okay, so you just defend, right? Okay. So, I'm here, I underhook, I go tight, I feel the pressure, I let go, I start to circle, I try to hook in, okay, and he just spins out. 
that can happen. You cannot stop here and then say, okay, he's gone. But eventually, I can easily get on top. And now I have a simple sweep. I just used one leg to control, right? Now I have the sweep, and I can work from there. Okay. Or let's say I come here, I put the legs out, I try to come in, and he spins, and eventually I connect my legs to another position, or eventually I want to attack, I don't know, maybe a new bar or the other legs. Okay. So that's totally fine too. If you want to stay on bottom, just think about it. Uh, that the calf slice is a nice entry, but it's not like the perfect solution for the whole situation, okay? I will show you in the next technique what my main goal most of the time is, and that really translates very well with my D game, okay? But just to come to this position, here you can lock it, right? You can lock the knee, that's an important part of it, to just adjust the position, it's not just, oh, there's a leg, and I just ah, try to rip it, okay? So get Closer, make sure you have everything tight, you can control the legs, and you can choose now any situation, the guy escapes and you choose what your goal is. Okay, so the first one was very simple, so I show one more time. So I'm here, I underhook, I connect, I open, I try to attack, but he's turning out. Okay, a very easy one is just trying to push him a little bit away, which obviously does not take the leg, so it just be fast. Yeah, otherwise you will just push you in and then you eventually have to do something else. You're pushing 50 50, just stay here, do like a technical stand up, and you're, you're out. Okay. You can easily from here just put in 50 50, if that's your preferred um, guard to play. You can use the other leg to shoot the other leg over, control the other leg. You can use both legs to control, connect your legs. You can attack both of the legs, okay? Any leg would you like, that's more for the advanced people, okay? I don't go for all the beginners over it. <coughs> so my main goal for you is to drill the move a little bit more, okay? So you can make something out of it. So the technical stand-up, almost everyone should at least know. So that's a nice follow-up to do. Let's show, uh, let's see one more time what he's doing, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm here, I have my control, I underhook, I connect. I open, I try to finish, and very simple. He's just posting and doing a back step. Okay? If I do nothing now, eventually he goes on top or pulls the leg out and then I'm on bottom again. Okay. So we're not the one who want that, so we come here, I connect. He's stepping out, and now I choose what to do. You can just kick him a little bit and get on top. Make sure you don't kick him in the face or something. Okay? <laughs> so I come on top, I can't control the leg. And then I work the pass. Or if I'm really into leg locks again, I will, I will end up in this position anyways. Okay, so just make sure you control the knee, get closer to the knee, stay tight here first, hide your legs. Okay, don't watch out that he's like somewhat grabbing the leg. So hide the legs, you can use the other leg to control him in the position, just keep him there for a while. Okay, or even if you manage to put the leg to the other side, hiding your legs, okay? Uh, a last detail I just want to say to the first technique. You can uh, stop the motion if you use your left leg as a hook. I didn't say that because it makes the technique a little bit more complicated. <coughs> but for everyone who's uh, more advanced or knows this position or similar uh, stuff, I underhook, I go here, and as I go here, you see that I'm already hooking the leg, which makes me like, as he tries to do the back step, I'm already moving with him. Okay, and I just get closer. And now you see that his leg is somewhat on my shoulder. I couldn't do on Lucy because she has shorter legs. Okay, so eventually on her I have to do something else. But because this leg is on my shoulder and I connected it with my hands, it's hard for him to put this leg out. And I can just come, uh, close it and sit tight to him, connect both of my, my hands and make him tap. Okay, and I will just move me with him. Okay, that's more for the advanced people. Uh, so it does not matter for all the beginners. Just try, shoot last time. Just try the entry, die on top, post the hand, it's a back step, and you try to get on top. Okay? Doesn't matter how, just think about um, more wrestling mindset, you want to go on top. Okay? So I'm here, I underhook, I catch. So he's trying to get up. You see my legs already out, he can hold his leg, but I will get on top. Okay? Any questions? Three, two, one. Okay. Just before I show the next technique, uh, this 
particularly, okay? I said, um, I will show you another food log, of course, but think about it, what I said in the beginning, it's mainly for me an opening, okay? It's an opening to attack a guy who it's hard for me to really do in this position, okay? Of course, you can hook, you can try to off-balance, okay? But as I said, some people are passive or really good in controlling, and you can even stay more far away or use this leg far away, and I can only really attack this leg, okay? And sometimes it's just hard to sit up because a lot of people are fast and they step out or they do a back step or they might be heavier than you and then they smash you, okay? So there are lots of options, of course, and you can all the time try to switch your guard. But for me, this is a very nice option where I only focus with my whole body on one leg, okay? And it's all against one. <laughs> like like uh, if you fight with many people against one, that's how we usually do it. No, <laughs> uh, just kidding. Um, no, but that's what I do with my body. Okay, I try to use as many elements of my body on just one thing of her. Okay, and she needs to um, try to react on that. So as I go here and I put all the tension, what some of you are missing is that lots of people, as you let go, you stay on the floor and give you this movement. Okay, it will be eventually hard for you to either go to the back or something. Uh, she can even just pull the leg out, okay, and then you lose everything and you need to restart, okay? So, let's say I'm here, I connect, I open, and as this happens, she's holding my legs away, just for example, more like just pushing them away, okay? And now you guys feel you can't use the technique anymore, uh, except, uh, so not except, but um, I feel the moment of surprise is most of the time stronger, and it's really hard to catch flying legs somewhere trying to catch flies, okay? It's really hard to catch them, but it can happen. And now comes the good part, okay? Even though I can't use my legs now against her, I still have my hips and my knees, everything, and I can still use all of my body, okay? And that's what I want from the beginning, not just when she defends that I use everything else that I have, okay? So with every action I take, I want to include as many of, of my body parts as possible, okay? And that's why already in the beginning, as we do this motion, as we open the space, you see that I'm almost on my shoulder, so really you, high up. So you extend your back when you... Yeah. Okay, just be closer to the leg. I just want to get closer because um, as the, the, the calf slice is a nice option. Okay, that's what I said in the beginning, right? But uh, that's not a... I don't know, that's not the technique that you hit all the times, okay? So you really, it's timing, you need to be fast, you get close faster, your leg needs to be in a good position, and if she knows what's coming or has a little bit of an idea or is very good in scrambling, you eventually will not get the half slice, okay? But that opening gives you another opportunity to attack a new thing, okay? A new, you, you saw that we can connect to a leg lock position, you can connect to 50-50 if you like that, okay? We can just try to get on top fast, okay? Don't, Wait until she's um, in the same position as you. So use the momentum as she falls to pull the leg out and then try to get up fast. When you eventually get the top position, you can work from there. Maybe a new leg lock you want to attack. Okay, it's nice to restart and have like good control from the beginning. And don't just grab the first thing you see. Okay, so always try to be a little bit more uh, like more steps ahead. And then it will be a lot easier for you in spawn. Okay. Uh, what I want to show want to show you now is actually the main thing I use. Okay, so the entry is almost the same, besides the fact that I'm not really focusing on the cap slice now. I'm really shooting both legs through. Look at this. Okay, so I'm here. You can eventually control the arms. Okay, sometimes the people are annoying with their hands. They're pushing on my leg. Just control the wrist a little bit. Underhook and now look. I open with the same thing. But now I pull myself and I use both of my hooks on the other side of the hip. Okay, so I'm not focusing on calf slice now, I'm focusing on, all, uh, on the other side of the hip. Okay, if you see if I just do this, nothing happens. Okay, she will just stay. So how am I going to pull him down? Okay, with the gear it's easy. I just catch the pants and maybe I pull her. Okay, but here what we do, you see there's lots of space between my heels and my butt. So I pull her and she drops. As she drops, there are two possible situations that uh, there is more, but just for a specific uh, knee bar, you can either pull the bottom leg down, okay, trying to finish the knee bar from here, okay, which I feel this one is hard to get, okay, because it's so easy for her to put the knee out. Okay. But we still in this position have the other leg, we can attack, okay, 
Okay, stay tight, break the hips forward, and finish the knee bar from here. Okay, watch out. This knee bar is still not a super safe one. Okay, to be honest, I feel happens to me all the time. I try to really squeeze and be tight and just pull in the knee. I just pull the knee to you and try to turn it into 50 50. Okay, that's very easy to do. Okay, you don't need to be a wizard to do that. Okay, you just pull the knee and turn. Okay, so what I like to do then is not going straight for the first technique I see. It keeps pulling. Okay? That uh, is really something that's uh, confusing a uh, lot of opponents. Okay, so I'm here, I underhook, I grab, I open again, I shoot my hips up, I pull her, and as she's falling down, I turn on my forehead, I connect the leg, okay, and now I put her leg closer to her body, okay. Please watch out, we're still not uh, knee ripping or something, okay, uh, but if you just twist the leg, Okay, that's actually not really allowed to just twist the leg. Okay, so we wanna, it should be a nice toe hold. So I want, I want to pull the leg closer to her butt. But she will tap way earlier. Why? Because there's so much of my leg in the key. Okay, so I'm here, I post on my elbow, and now I pull it closer to her. And do you see that I'm not just going forward? Because how am I going to go forward? I'm posting on my elbow. I'm pulling my legs. Okay, it's like I'm, I want to hide somewhere. <laughs> okay, so I'm here. Okay. One more time. You good? Yeah. Good. Okay, so I'm here. Okay, control. I underhook. I open. Sub. I pull her. I turn on my forehead. As I turn on my forehead, try to make sure you control the leg. Connect the legs. Okay. Pull your knees tight and pull, push this one. Okay. All fours on, on her toes to her butt. Okay. And not just twisting. It's very uncomfortable in this. Okay. Do one last time with the knee bars. The knee bars are just optional please for those of you who already have done knee bar, know how it works and for advanced guys, okay? For everyone else, just stick to the rowing, okay? And don't need to do it fast, okay? You can really come here, one, two, open, lift the hips, try to bring both legs in, pull, you can even control the fall a little bit, okay? Uh, sorry, the knee bars first. So you can just pull this one leg out. Okay, eventually you want to hide the other leg. One. Or if you're still like here from the fall and she's like pulling this leg out, you just pull the other leg. Stay tight with the knees, elbows close, drag your hips forward. If you still have the foot here, okay, you see the position already. Okay, you can already grab if you want to, otherwise you just hold the leg, you spin on your forehead, And finish. Okay? Three, two, one. Since the time is almost out and I don't want to uh, stop you from doing open mat, I uh, will show it one more time. Okay? And you can ask me any questions if you like. I can show you a couple of options I'm actually working on. Um, I can show it to you how I do it with the gi. Okay, there. It's basically the same thing, but the gi adds a lot of things, okay, that I can do no gi, or I could, but it's just not so good because I don't have a pan grip, okay, if I have a pan grip, okay, that's a super strong grip to have. Um, just one mistake I saw when you were doing the move, okay, I, I start from here, again, if you don't want to use the leg hip, you can just keep the legs like this, okay, otherwise I underhook, I use my other arm, okay, I create tension. Then I let go, and now look at my body. Okay. As I turn, I lift myself. My first hook is on the inside, and my second one comes on the inside too. Very close to her hips, okay? Uh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. It's just too hard to do the movement, and she can just pressure a little bit with the knee down, or I push my knees down, and my legs down, and to pull the inside, just push it and then eventually I lose her. I still have the legs, so if I stay tight to here, maybe I, I find another solution, something I could do to make her, I don't know, lose the balance or something. Okay. But we missed the part where we, where we feel strong, okay? And that's, that's when I'm, to show it, when I'm like on my shoulder, and I try to hook with my legs, okay? And now in order to get her, I really, I don't keep my legs like this, I flex my legs, like I'm hooking the, the hips. Okay. The time you do this, 
the opponent is losing a little bit of balance, okay, and that gives you the opportunity to pull him or to do something. If you just enter this position, it will eventually not work because it's uh, it consists of the movement, okay, the moment where you get the tight hooks and he loses the balance, then you pull and then you keep continuing. Okay? <coughs> so I don't want to stop in any of these positions because it might get it's tiring out okay, because I need to stay somehow on my shoulder okay, and I don't want to stay there too long. Uh, and I need to make the progress otherwise she will easily push the leg down and just pass. Okay? That's true. So one of my key points here is really that as I open the legs, I really go close with my hips. Because that's what I said, even if she pushes my legs away, I eventually get my hips closer, okay? And then I connect to something else. Okay, I don't know. Can be an extra, can be something else, okay? I actually did that, that variation where I'm here, uh, because lots of my students started to do that, okay. push their legs away, and then I just jump on the one side, and I used the extra like this, or I just used it to control one of the legs like this. Okay, because it's a nice situation here too. You can make the leg maybe fall, or you connect to a normal X guard. Okay. So there are a couple of options from here. From here, if you maybe one of the more crazy fancy side, okay, where you hope you catch your opponent with just one lucky shot, okay, you can even try to switch the head. Okay, to eventually take a knee bar or something, or take another leg up, or switch to the inside. So as you see, there are lots of options, and uh, my main focus, I know it was supposed to be just leg locks, okay? I hope a little part of leg locks into that, um, that you enjoyed that. Um, if you want to review any of those techniques, I'm posting almost everyday drills on Instagram, and they're, po they're posted on Facebook too. And I did already all the drills for this one, okay? So you can easily look them up, just maybe scroll a little bit. Uh, hit me up if you have any questions, and are there any questions now for anything? What did you say? What's your name? Oh, uh, Mario Drills. <laughs> <laughs> Very creative, I know. I, have a, I, I struggle to get on my shoulder and lift my hips My shoulder? So okay. I don't know what my question is, <laughs> just I found it difficult. Mm, so. uh, that's something, I, I think you have two options. You can either practice to do that, okay, so you feel comfortable doing this. Okay, so when I'm in here, okay, it's like almost you could start with exercises like she's just staying heavy and I just try to lift my hips. Okay, and you, you will see that uh, it's not, it's not supposed to be there like forever. Okay, maybe I show that and maybe I have like the, the physics to just do that all, all day. Okay, but uh, my idea is I, I don't want to tire out myself, right? So I just want to be a little bit quicker. Okay, so you either create the uh, updraft motion by extending your hips, doing like this, okay, and then you're just a short period of time on the shoulder, at <coughs> least at that time you use your legs, yeah. okay, or you just pack it. Uh, or you just practice something like this, okay, you can use your legs to hook, and then you go down. Stay on the shoulder, try to feel comfortable, use your head. Okay, there's a little bit of space between my head and my shoulder, so I'm not just like this. Okay, I can stay here, I can use my legs, I can move here a little bit. Try to come back. Okay, so I would say if you practice it, it should be no problem for you to use it. Okay? And then I have trouble, I would often, going from the knee bar into the toe hold position, I'd often lose control of their knee and start slipping out there as I do work. So the details to keep going up. <laughs> Do you mean up? The technique yeah. I was showing? Yeah. Uh, uh, to, to be honest, uh, my number one is the toe hold because I, I have the same problems, especially when the people are slippery and they have spats on and it's so easy to slip out, right? Uh, I think one of the key points, and that's actually what I, I have, uh, before I forget that, good, good, good that you remind me, I have some handouts, but just dirty pieces. Uh, I can put them uh, on the Facebook group or something and you can download them if you want to. I have written there two principles of defending legs I really like and I always use, okay? Uh, so I'm not going over this now, okay? So we skip this a little bit. If you have any questions to it, okay, uh, you can ask me before the client ends. Uh, but it's actually right the opposite. You really need to control the knee for the knee bar, okay? And I feel, for me, that's at least my goal, 
I try, to, I try to stay as close as possible to the hips. Okay, so I focus on getting the setup for this to get closer, 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 and then I finish. Okay, that's my, my idea for any submission. I try to adjust as long as I can okay, until the submission is the easiest part. Yeah, I feel like uh, I focus so much on the, on the setup that the submission is easy, right? Because everyone knows as we are here, okay, it's easy to finish the guy, okay? But getting there is not so easy. And some people spend all their energy on a position that's not really good or the face is somewhere in the way, okay? And then they lose their energy and then they need to let go. Uh, rather than having the opposite mindset of adjusting, adjusting, making everything tight, tight, tight. And if it's already super tight, then the finish should be the easiest one. Uh, the easier thing. And the same goes with the knees. Um, I want to adjust, 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 and I want to stay first close to the hips because if I can't control her, I might get the knee bar. But I want to get the knee bar maybe all the time. Okay? And not just because I was lucky. Okay? That's nice to do and you might be uh, successful with it. Okay? But in the long term, you want to control the leg. Okay? You want to be able to execute a nice knee bar where, where the other guy can really say, Man, good job. Okay, I couldn't get out. Right? So that's what I want with an armbar too, for example. Okay. So when I'm here, I'm already in this position as I move up. Try to be like as close as possible here over her knee. Okay. There's still a chance since we're moving that she can pull the knee out. Okay. On the knee bar. But let's say I pull her. Okay. And she drops. Okay. If I now really focus on getting a tight control on the knee first. Of course, maybe she's pulling the leg then fast down, okay? But at some point, I might be able to uh, still get the knee bar back because I take all the leg or I can stay here. But you lose her if you don't stay close to the hips and if you don't control the knee, okay? So if the knee is out, okay? And that's what I focus the most when people try to attack me with leg locks. If my knee is out, I can move my body, okay? It's the same principle that's in half bird, for example, so it's in the okay? So it's harder from here to move all your body when I'm super tight compared to, let's say, here. Yeah. Okay, because here she can move, right? And eventually she can defend everything or use more of her body. But if he's, she's like this, okay, it gets harder for her to move. Okay, she can put pressure for sure. Okay, so I'm not talking about, about this. But just for her to spin all the way around might not be possible because the legs block, right? So I go always for a position where I really want to, let's say, even normal edit text or something. Okay? I don't, don't want to be like too far or just somewhere.